Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another wig unboxing because I know, I know, I have been bit by the wig bug. But this box was graciously sent to me for review by the wig company and I'm excited. <laughs> so let me grab, I'm just going, there's two in here. Um, they always send a return label even though this is not going to be returned it was a gift i have two wigs fascinating and make ways and i'm gonna go ahead and take them both out of this box so we can get rid of this box all right i don't know which one i want to try first um this is make waves she is a shorter one and this is fascinating, which is a little bit more of a bobby one. Let's do the shorter one because I have a lot of bob, you know, bobby ones. So this is Polly Young that I have on. This is Misty. I have several videos on Misty. I'll leave the last one linked up below, which is where I compare Misty to two other Polly Young styles. But right now we're going to take Misty off because we are going to try this heat friendly lace front now even a better from statements from the wig company oh i'm excited <laughs> okay so open it up i love the boxes that they uh, send their wigs in because i always put them back in their box they do send you some information about taking care of your lace front taking care of your heat friendly fibers they do send that information I don't remember what these are retailing for at the present moment. Um, I was hoping they would send me a catalog in the box, but they didn't. Um, so I could give you like the price point. I will leave a link down below for both of these wigs. There's what she looks like coming straight to you in the box. She is pinned in. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and cut her tags and everything. She is mine. Be careful to cut just the strings and nothing important. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, she is a shorter style. I wanted something um, different to show you guys, you know, some different styles. I'm just taking the hairnet off. Set her box back there. So while she is inside out, I will go ahead and show you the cap. Somebody's trying to call me. We're going to decline that. Boop, boop, maybe boop. There we go. So she does have a lace front. She's not very deep, but she does look like she goes completely across. You got this really nice. Is that a mono top? Can you part her anywhere? We're going to find out. I do see a little bit of permatease in there. Nothing crazy. She is like a red Auburn. Um, they were sold out on some colors. They didn't have the color I wanted. So I told them to, um, they asked me if I wanted this reddish color. I was like, sure, let's, let's try the, the red. This is an average cap. It says 21 to 22. I am like a 23. I usually do end up cutting out the adjusters. Here is the shade F. 394 is the color and it is the new make waves so here is the cap see those ears nice big ear tab there a little bit of a nape she's got some schmutz in her from me there is the cap construction you guys can see she's she's auburn give her a really good shape. I want to take my ring off for this too. Um, because they can snack. I'm giving her a really good shake. I'm going to mess up that top. Now the picture, the profile picture, she's very upswept and off the face. And I know people were saying you really got to kind of style it to get it to look that way. And I can understand that. I'm going to go ahead and take these adjusters and just completely loosen them up as loose as they will go. Like I said, I will end up probably cutting those out. All 
All right, let's see, because I don't know. This one's really short, guys. A little ponytail up out of the way, maybe. And she is red. Okay, let me find my lace front and pull it up. And this is where that piece out cream is really going to come in handy. Because the, the picture, the profile picture, she is like really up and off the face. Find my ear tabs here. Make sure I'm straight. Where is my piece out cream? She is some red, let me tell you. And I used to keep my hair colored red for years. I kept my hair colored red. Yeah, she is like really swept up off the face in the profile picture. So let's take that piece out cream and just really kind of get her piecey and chunky. And that is my hair there. So good thing there's like dark, dark bits in there. I don't know what the back looks like. I never know what the back looks like until I go back and rewatch the um the videos. This little piece here needs to come, I think, down this way it would be cute. Does this one have yes, okay, yes. I think I need the little wispy bits here. To make it cute. Yeah, like I said, she does have some permatees, so you, you can get in there and make her like really, really, really full. And if you don't like this choppy, um, you can take some root powder. I've even seen people that take the um furniture touch-up pins and go in and kind of make a root. I have not tried that yet, but I do want to try that on couple of my wigs this is a fun color it would have been really good back in autumn this is like a fun fun color now it's clashing with what I have on but um I'm gonna turn to the side I'm gonna kick my shoes off because guys I'm burning up all right so here's the side now if anything sticking out in the back I apologize <laughs> Cute. And like I said, I have a round little face, chubby little cheeks, a little bit of a double chin, nothing like terrible, but I do have a little bit of a double chin. And I think she is cute. Get up close, you guys can see. But yes, I will um, probably take some eyeshadow or something and maybe put a little bit of a root in that. But that's pretty much how I would style her. Um, I wouldn't do much more to her. And that is straight out of the box, not washed. Because usually I wash them to get rid of the box head. But since she is kind of foofy, you don't really see any box head. And what was that color? Give me that information there. F394 and again average and this cap fits it's fitting good I actually think um this feels a little looser than my Paula Young and I think in an older video I said I thought Paula can't remember I said one fit better than the other this one actually I think feels better this one and every wig is different every wig um, you might get a make waves and it feels tighter than this one because they're all made you know individually this is cute Guys, I'm really liking this piece out cream. You've seen how quick I just zhuzhed that up. But we're going to go outside in the natural light. And I'll let you see what she looks like 
outside and I will have all of her measurements and everything down below in the description box. Um, I copy these, the description straight from the company and her measurements, all of that. I will have the link for this one down below. She is cute. So let's go outside and see what she looks like in the sun. Okay guys, we are outside in the sun. It is a pretty, pretty day. So this is a perfect day to do this. My hands are shaking. I'm sorry. I apologize. But this is Make Waves, the new Make Waves out in the sun. And I am going to try to put a root, even if I just get some root touch up and put in there and see what that looks like. Now when I'm out in the sun, I cannot see my screen. So just letting you guys see. what she looks like out in the sun again it is a little bit breezy today but not enough to really like blow her around this is cute and even on my little round face I think she's cute she's very stylish and very sleek get you all the way back get up over top here so you guys can see the color And you saw how easy it was for me to style her right out of the box. Just super easy. You get back over here in the shade. You can see it in the shade. And that way I can see you. <laughs> she's, I think, I think she's really adorable. I love these little wispy pieces here on the side. You can see your earrings if your you know ears are pierced. Back has some coverage. All right, guys, this is the new Make Waves from the Wig Company, and again, I'd like to thank the Wig Company for sending this one to me to review for you guys. Oh my gosh, I want to say she's right around 89 to 100. I'm pretty sure she's under 100. Again, I will leave. All the information linked down below. But I want to say she's around 89. And she is lace front. Let me show you that lace front out here in the in the light. Now again, that's my natural hair. I have a wonky hairline. There's the lace front. I got a little piece up under there, but it's okay. Again, you can get her as foofy as you want just by using your fingers. I mean, or you can smooth her down. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure you go and check out their deals, sign up for their emails because they're always sending me sales, coupons, updates, and they have other brands on there. They have the big brands, they have their home brands. This is a house brand. And this is one of their brands, one of their own house lines. I like it. Let's go back inside because it is chilly and I'm in short sleeves and a dress. <laughs> I like. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And I do have another wig review unboxing from the wig company coming up. So be sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. And I'll have another one coming up next.